First off, we started the season off with a win at the weekend. Uh, do you think it was important to start off with winning ways? You know, watch. Yeah, you want to. You want. Yeah, you want to try and get off to. Everybody wants to try and get off to the best possible start. I think when we looked at the the fixture list, we knew it'd be a tough game. We knew what Tadcaster would bring. They're a team that that are big, strong, and industrious. I think they've sort of built a team for this this division if they, they possibly can do. Um, we know they've got decent finances. I think got, they've got decent finances. So we knew it'd be. A, I think they'll be up there. I think their man Colwyn Bay will be top ten sides personally. So I think to beat them in the manner that we did um, was pleasing. It was um, a good display on Saturday and it took us into Tuesday and I thought we got progressively better. So for me, that's the important thing that we're showing progressive performances um, with each game and we'll see if we can show another progression onto our performance when we play Liversidge on Saturday. On Saturday it was a bit of a battle, it was a bit of a tough game and you know, eventually we'll come out with the three points. What did you make of the performance? Did anyone stand out for you all? On Saturday? Um, well, obviously we've got Jerome Wright and he's, he's a top class player that didn't really stand out for me but in terms of what I was expecting because I knew he was a good player so you get what, what, what you think you're going to get with Jerome and occasionally you get a little bit more as well so I thought his, um, his first goal just pure determination, pure doggy determination to go and get past the defender. I mean he gives him a five yard head start, I mean Jerome Wright's 31 years old and he's given a 20 year old left back so right back uh, five ten yards at start still beat him to the ball and then rode the tackle and beat the keeper so listen his first one's about guts and determination which is what you get from him the second one is about pure class i mean he, he whips the free kick in from i don't know 30 yards probably 35 yards and it goes in the top corner and tomo has to make sure on the rebound but i think the well we know the ball was already in the net by the time it got there so Listen, he's a top class player. We've got lots of top class players. Greg Daniels over the two games, absolutely superb. Um, but it's what we expect from them. It's, it's not nothing other than what we expect. But uh, but yeah, I was pleased with, with both performances. So you having that as a shot for the second one? Or do you think he's crossed it? Well, he says he's put it in. He says he's put it in the top corner, and it's it's come off the stanchion, hasn't it? So it's as good a free kick as you'll see. I mean, the goalkeeper's probably expecting. I think everybody in the ground's expecting him to whip it to the back post, where we've got people waiting to try and get knockdowns and attempts on goal. So I think the fact that he. He says he's done it on purpose, and you wouldn't be surprised, would you? Tadcaster's match report summed it up where everybody expected something to go as a regulation, if you like, but, but not Jerome, and that's the sort of player he is. As I said, the game was a little bit feisty. Uh, we did see, unfortunately, a red card at the end of the game. Have you had a chance to look over that or something? Yeah, we've seen it, yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those where Max has got every right to go and challenge for the ball. Um, whether he catches the goalkeeper or not, it's difficult for us to say because the, the camera angles are from a long way back. And goalkeeper makes a lot of it, but they do. And if we're honest, I think we'd probably expect Fierro to make the same. Um, that's not the issue for me. The issue was the first one with Max where it's petulant and he gets done for descent by kicking the ball away when they're about to re retake kickoff. So that's silly. Uh, and he knows that, he acknowledges that. So we have to do without him on Saturday and uh, that'll be a, a loss for us because he gives us a, a different dimension to our attack. Um, but it was silly. Now we look on to Tuesday, it was a really tough game and I think a lot of the players were a little bit disappointed not to have three points at the end of it. Uh, do, do you share that feeling? Yeah, or? we do. Um, we do because I th think other than a 20 minute spell at the start of the second half where we got a little bit deep and I didn't think we were quite brave enough to go and press the ball in which in which we had done for the rest of the game. Uh, other than that, I thought we were we were better than them. Uh, we've had two wonderful chances at the end, the one for Jerome where it goes on his right foot rather than his left. Uh, and he puts it wide and then Benji who goes on a rebound from a Jerome shot and he just can't get his legs sorted quick enough and he ends up falling over so um, he just kind of just quick enough so two great chances Greg has a chance as well um, but other than that 20 minute spell and, and the thing that we said was in those spells where you don't have the best of the play if you, if you can make sure you don't concede goals then you've got a chance in the rest of the game but if, they, if when they are on top they do score it hurts you and that's what happens so we're disappointed with the two goals we've analysed them and looked at them that they're both fairly similar to be honest and uh, we'll try and rectify that some of it some of that here on the training ground and, and take that into Saturday. When we look over the transfers we've made over the summer we've made some really impressive ones uh, Jerome Wright maybe you know leading that uh, do you think that's a massive statement of intent and what do you think the other teams are going to come here you know the teams that are scouting us now looking to play us? Well uh... I mean, Phil Avland, I know Colwyn Bears mind you quite well, and, and Phil said to me, listen, that you're a team that are going to be up there. He, he was impressed with what we did, and that's it's a nice compliment to take from, from someone else. But um, I think, I said it to you right at the start of pre-season, I think we're one of, I'm one of probably 15 managers that think they've got a chance at, at being up there, playoffs, whatever. Um, and I still think that. I think the signs we've got are good. Uh, and the most important thing for me is that with the signs that we've brought in, want to play for Armstrong United. 
They want to be part of a group and part of an environment that we've tried to create here, so that's important. We've not got massive egos in the dressing room, which we've been guilty of before, but uh, this is a hard-working industrial side that will be full of passion and, and commitment to play for the club, and we can't ask for more than that. And if we can maintain the way we want to play for, for 90 minutes, which is tough and it's hard work on the lads, but if we can do that, we'll win more than we'll lose. And do you see this as your starting eleven now for the rest of the season? Or you think about no, absolutely not. Hey, listen, we've got some good players. I mean, it's testament to the quality of the squad that we've got when the likes of Alex Meany and Jamie Rother haven't played as much as we would like them to, and they would like to because they've, they've not, for, for very different reasons, I suppose. And we've got to get Alex back from a, a really major injury. In fact, both of them back from really major injuries. Um, I mean, he's only 12 months just over Jamie from a ruptured Achilles, so these things take time. And that's the sort of quality we've got in the squad. It means that we can, we can I mean, Lee Gaskell didn't play on Tuesday night. Um, so we've got great players that, that are going to make us stronger or, or change games for us. So for me, yes, there's a job in, in keeping everyone happy and, and managing players' expectations and making sure I put the right 11 out. But we're in a good place at the moment with lots of quality players. Nathan Webb been injured. He comes back in on Saturday. So we're going to have a look at where we can get Webb into the side, if we can get him into the side. So we're pleased that we've got good quality. There's probably one or two that we're still looking, one or two positions that we're still not 100% happy with. but. We'll be patient and take our time. Um, but from, it's not about 11 players for me, it's about a squad of players that we can we can put out there to do a job. Next up for us is a competition that we're notoriously not, we've not really performed in. Uh, is that something you want to concentrate on this season? You know, it'd be well, a yeah. It's the same for me. I've got the worst FA Cup record, I think, probably of any manager ever. Um, I think I've had five goals in and I've lost all five. So for me, it'll be nice to try and get a monkey off my back in terms of I get a ribbon all the time off, off, off some of the lads and some of the coaches that, that we've lost. I've lost every FA Cup game. So one, it'd be nice to get rid of that because it, it does my head in. Um, two, it will put some money into the club, which is important for a little club like ours. Uh, and three, we want to progress as far as we can. It's, I mean, there's a, there's a team from this league, I think in three of the last five seasons, that has gone into the first round proper and had, a t had TV rights. So I think that's the ultimate. If we can get to that, if you can get that far, you need a bit of luck with the draw and you probably need a bit of luck in a couple of games. But we would like to think that, that we've got a good chance of getting through on Saturday. We won't underestimate them at all. We've done every all the prep that we'd usually do for a game, we've done for Liverstitch as well. We, we, we've watched them twice now. We know everything about them. We've studied it. Lads have got the information. Um, we'll have to apply ourselves and we'll have to work hard to get through, but we, we'd love to get through. And what kind of game are you expecting on Saturday? Um, a tough game. Uh, yeah, the, 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 listen, the, I think they finished mid-table in that division, the division below the, the Northern Counties East last season, but we underestimate them at our peril and every season there is a team from the North West Counties or the Northern League that knocks Evo Stick clubs out and if you, if you don't go with your A game and you don't go being the best that you can be, you get knocked out. So we give them absolutely the respect that they deserve and we will go and earn the right to play and all that sort of thing. And I hope we're in the hat on Monday because it'd be a nice thing to, to keep going. And you never know what you're going to get once you get through this round and the, the, maybe the next one potentially. You could be looking at some really big clubs, your Barrows and your, your Halifaxes and all those Gateheads and all those sort of clubs that could bring you a little bit of cash in the coffers as well with a big crowd. So we know we know what we want to do. It's just it's just making sure we try and do it. That's it, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, there he is.